Thank you, teacher. You can start with your class. Uh, hello, everyone. Welcome to the 10th next week with uh, Sakiwa So, yesterday, uh, this is where we left off, where we are being asked uh, to calculate uh, the number of eggs that we uh, require to fill up a 12 meter square area given the information that um, one bag is capable of filling 1.5 meters per. So this is where we left up. Okay, so we had a question that uh, wanted us to calculate that. Okay, let's uh, look at this question I have for you. So during this question, uh, we're going to be using the formula to calculate the area, we're not going to measure. We're going to be a formula. Uh, we have to remember the formulas we talked about yesterday. If you don't remember some of them, we will remind each other as we be proceeding. Okay, so let's look at question number one. Question number one is saying, Mr. and Ms. Samini need to make a final decision about their budget. This is the same garden we talked about here. And what they are prepared and what they are prepared to spend. The diagram below, not drawn up to store course, shows what their garden currently looks like with the loan, partial, and uh, the garden. Okay, so as you can see, the garden is rectangle with uh, length of 20 meters and uh, width are uh, four meters. Okay, so this is what we have. And you're also given this information about the patio. And again, it is a small rectangle inside the garden with dimensions eight by six meters. And you are also given um, uh, these dimensions here. Okay, so. Okay, sorry about that, guys. Okay, so we have a question here. Calculate the area of the property in meter square using the following formula. We're given the formula for area, so this will be easy for us. We're already given the formula for area. Okay, so we have area B equal to length times okay. uh, seeing the shape of the in the shape of the garden to be rectangle. What do you think the area is going to be, guys? The area? What is the area going to be? Okay, let me just show you how to calculate it. Okay, so looking at this diagram, we see there is 20 centimeters here and four centimeters here and eight centimeters there. So meaning the width and length of the garden we have 20 meters by 12 meters. I don't know if you can see that guys. We have uh, 20 meters by, okay. So the area here is going to be 20 meters by eight meters plus Four meters is to give me 10 meters by 12 meters. So this is going to be uh, 24. Is that correct, guys? Is that correct? Yes. It is going to be 10 meters by 12 meters. Okay. I'm sorry about that, it seems like I'm having problem with my mouse. Uh, 
Okay, so we have 240 meters squared. That is the area of the garden. Okay. Uh, let's look at the second question. Second question is saying, calculate the area of the garden indicated on the diagram using the following formula. Area is equals to half phase times height. Okay, so this is the area we want to calculate of this shape here. Okay, so given this information, we already know how to calculate the area of a rectangle, and we are also given the dimensions. So we are saying area of a triangle is equal to half base and height. Okay, the base is what is the base? What is the base? Okay, so see this diagram is a, a right angle triangle. Any side can be the best. Any side can be the best. Any side can be the, the height. Okay, so you can choose which, whichever you want to use. Okay, so we are just saying we have four times. Is it 20? Yes. I think it was 20. I see 20 there. Okay, so we have four times 20 there, which is equal to, which is uh, two times uh, 20, which is 14. And then you have to 15 units here, guys, so that you don't forget. So that when you give your answer, it is going to be in the correct unit, which is 40 meter square. Okay. Okay. Let's look at um, so this is how you find the area of uh, uh, the, the garden. Uh, let's look at part C. So this was part B. Let's look at part C. Part C is saying calculate the area of the property in meter squared. Okay, so we did that. Right. Okay. What percentage of the area of the whole property is the triangle garden. Express your answer as a whole number. What percentage of the area of the whole property is the triangle garden? Express your answer as a whole number. So we have this is the area of the property. So we want to calculate C. This is the area of the property. Can you figure out the percentage, guys? What is the percentage? 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 Okay, so we already found uh, the area of the triangle and you already know the area of the or property. The area of the whole property, we did that question, and you found the area of the whole property to be, uh, what did we have? Uh, we had 240, right guys? We had 240 meters squared. Okay, so we need the percentage. So we are saying 40 meters squared over 240 meters squared multiplied by Okay. okay, so what will this give us? 40 divided by 240. This will give us uh, 16 points. This will give us 16.67. Yes, but the question again, the question again is asking us to, to, to give the answer as a whole number, right? The question is asking us to give the answer as a whole number. So if we are to give the answer as a whole number, we just look at this part here, and we see that it is greater than or equal to five, so this will be 70%. Yes. 
सेवेंटीन परसेंट सेवेंटीन परसेंट रेटर सेवेंटीन परसेंट ओके लेट्स लुक टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन so we are looking at this question here express your answer is the whole number so if you have to express the answer is the whole number to come 17% okay let's look at question number 2 now question number 2 this is question number 2 question number 2 is saying mr lamini still has not decided on a shape for his uh, new fish pond item number a One option is is for Mr. Lamin to install a circular fish pond with a radius of 1.5 meters, as shown in the diagram. Calculate the area of the pond in meters squared using the formula pi times r squared, where pi is equal to 3.142. Okay. So this 3.142 guys is um, is an estimate of the actual value for pi. So in this example, we just use uh, 3.142. But if you remember yesterday, we used uh, 22 over 7. If you are to punch in your calculator, 22 over 7 and this number 3.142 are almost uh, the same. This one is around the of three. Okay, and again, if you are using a calculator, you can just uh, look because it uh, depending with uh, the calculator you are using, there is that symbol that looks like uh, 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 this guy we are using called pi. This pi guy. Okay, so you can just use that directly by just punching it, then you multiply by uh, radius squared. Okay. So let's calculate the area of this uh, circular fish pond. Area of this circular fish pond, given that r is equal to one point five meters. Okay, let's calculate these guys. Okay, so we are saying area is equal to pi r squared. So whenever you are given a uh, equation, guys. If the formula is not specified, and you have recognized that it is a circle that you want to calculate the area of, it is best you write the formula. They usually award marks for that. So if you write a formula, you will be awarded a mark for just knowing the formula. If it is not given, but in this case you have given the formula, so there is no need for us uh, to write it again. But uh, we just write it anyway. Okay, so we have been told to use three point one four two units multiplied by area multiplied by radius. We have R being equal to one point five, so we obtain one point five square. Okay, so this is the same as saying three point one four two multiplied by one point five multiplied by one point five, which is one point five square. Okay, can you punch in that, guys? Okay, we have three point one four two, three point one four two, multiplied by one point five squared. Which is going to give us seven point zero six nine five. Yes, seven point zero six nine five. So this is the exact value. So since it is area, and we have uh, meters here, so this is meters squared. So we have in meters multiplied by meters. So this will be squared. Yes. Okay, so the trick part is just to remember the formula, guys. Yes, math is really easy. It is really easy. It is really easy. So you really have to remember the formula. If you remember the formula and you know the names of the dimensions that are this is the radius. What does the radius mean? 
you just punch in into your calculator the values. It's very easy. Okay. But it requires one to do a lot of practice. Right? You have to practice. Okay. Let's look at uh, part B of the question. Part B of the question is saying, the alternative design of the fish point, as you have already been seen, looks as follows. So this is the shape of the fish point. What a creative way to design a fish point we have here. Okay, using the dimensions given on the diagram above, calculate the area of the other possible fish point using the formula. Area is equal to pi times radius squared, and area is equal to length times width, where pi is equal to 3.142. Okay, we have part B there, guys. What do you think? How can you proceed here? How can you proceed? How can you proceed, guys? Okay. You want us to read the question again? Uh, using the dimensions given on the diagram, calculate the area of the other possible fish point using the formula area is equal to pi times radius squared and area is equal to length times width where pi is equal to 3.542. Okay. Any idea, guys? Any ideas? Okay, let me show you how to do this. One. So, as you can see, there are two shapes we are having here. We have this uh, rectangle and we have this uh, semicircle, almost like a circle, but it is a half circle. Okay, so I'm going to calculate the easiest one first. Of course, the easiest one is the uh, rectangle I have here. Okay, so area of a rectangle, I know area of a rectangle is equal to length times width, right? My length, my length there is going to be two meters. Oh, 3.142, 3.142 is given to us, Dick. 3.142 is given to us. We don't need to uh, find it. It's already here. If the question is saying pi is equal to 3.142. Okay. Again, even if you don't know pi to be equal to 3.142, Vicky, you just, uh, if you are using a casual calculator, just look at um, there is a button that has this symbol, this symbol that I'm looking at here, that I'm seeking at here, this symbol. If your calculator does have that, that is what uh, we are talking about. So the formula for calculating uh, a circle is pi r squared, that we discussed yesterday. And pi is equal to 22 over 7. Pi is equal to 22 over 7. So if you say 22 over divided by 7, you get a 3.142. But the number is recurring. It doesn't stop with that. It will continue. This is a rounded off figure. This 3.142. Okay. I uh, hope you understood that. Okay, let's get back to calculating uh, the area of this uh, new design. Okay, so we have the length. The length is two meters multiplied by one meter. So this will give us two meters. Okay. So this is the area of the uh, that side. So I now want to calculate the area of this part. The area of this part is actually connected to this part because we know that the shape that we have looks like this. Since here we have one meter and this is two meters, this automatically means here also is actually one meter, right? So if this part is one meter, so this is representing the diameter, right? So G is equal to one meter. 
Okay, G is equal to one meter. So if G is equal to one meter, remember G represents diameter, and G is equal to two radius, right? So R is equal to zero point one five meters. Okay, are you following, guys? We have R being equal to zero point five meters, right? So we now need to calculate the uh, the area of this part. Okay, but before we do that, we have to recognize that this is a half circle. So maybe first I need to calculate the area of a full circle at this as its same circle, right? So I will say area of a circle. I know area of a circle is equal to pi r squared. Okay. So this is going to be equal to, I've already been given the value for this. I can use 22 over 7, but let's stick to what the question is requiring us to do. Okay, so this is equal to 3.14 multiplied by the radius, which is 0 0.5 meters height. Okay? So my answer here is going to be 3.142 multiplied by 0 0.5 squared, which is equal to 0 0.7855 meter squared. But this guy is representing the area of a full circle. This is the area of a full circle. But here we have a half circle. So what do we do? We say value by we say this value is zero point seven eight five five divided by two. What do we have? This is going to be equal to 0 0.39275. Okay? Remember, the question is asking us for this. So I will say plus 2 meters. So this will be equal to 2.39275 meters squared. Because this is in meter space, this is in meter space. So the volume is going to be 2.39275 meter squared. Okay. Are you together, guys? Are you okay? Hello? Hello, guys. I'm just making sure I'm not confusing you, eh? Okay, so if you have any questions, if you have any questions, just raise your hand. We can go over it again, if you have any questions. Okay, so that's a, that is how we find the area of uh, the new uh, pond, the new shape of the pond there. Okay, let's look at uh, question number C. Question number C. Question number C is saying, how does your answer to be compared to the area of the circular fish pond that we calculated in A? Which shape of the fish pond should Mr. Lamini choose if he is worried about the pond taking up too much space in his garden? Give reasons for your answer. What do you think, guys? How does your answer to be compared to the area of the circular fish point that we calculated in A? Which shape of the fish point should Mr. Lamini choose if he is worried about the pond taking up too much space in his garden? Give your reason. Okay, remember we got, um, this is the value that we got for the new fish point. 
Okay, so let me just give you uh, the values. So for the uh, circular one, the area was equal to 2.39275, which is case. And for, okay, so this one, sorry guys, this one is for the, uh, for the new design. Okay, so the new design or something like that. Okay, so for the circular one, for the circular one, I have the answer here. Let me check. For the circular one. Okay, let me see. For the circular one, okay, so for the circular one, we actually calculated it. Yes, we actually calculated it and found that it was um, yes. The first one is uh, a small area. The first one is a small area. So the first one is a small area. So since it is a small area, and Mr. Damini is actually worried uh, about. Uh, with the fish pond taking up space. He's actually worried about the fish pond taking up space. So since he's worried about the fish pond taking up space, he needs to stick to the small one. Yes, that's right, guys. He needs to stick to the small one, well, which we found to be a uh, three point, which we found to, to be 7.065, uh, a circular one. We find it to be uh, seven point zero six five. So since seven point zero six five is actually bigger, so the circular one is actually taking up uh, a big space, as you can see. The circular one is taking up a uh, big space. So he needs to stick to the new design. I think. What do you think, guys? He needs to stick to the new design. Okay. Let's move on uh, to the next question. Okay, so this is uh, next question, question number three. Question number three is saying, uh, Mr. Zamin is concerned that his dog will try to climb into the fish pond once it is built. He will need to put a fence around the fish pond. He, he has still not decided which style of fish pond he wants to build. He decides to cut, he decides to get caught from a fancy company called uh, Face Me In. They give him the following information. Okay, question uh, part A, the quotation. Labor cost 549.99 rand for the whole project. Okay, B, one meter of fencing cost 29.99 rand. Okay, calculate the cost for each style of pond. Public the code for each style of pond. Okay, uh, you want us to start with which one? Okay, let's start with the circular one. Okay, let's start with the circular one. Okay, what do we need to calculate here, guys? What do we need to calculate? What do we need? Uh, no. Okay, guys, what do we need to calculate? What do we need to calculate? It? Okay, we'll calculate, um, we'll calculate the, the, do you think we need to calculate the perimeter or the area? What do you think, guys? Yes. Which which part are you battling to understand, Simo? Which part? No, guys, we need to calculate the perimeter. We need to calculate the perimeter. We need to calculate the perimeter of the fish pond. We need to calculate the perimeter of the fish pond. Okay. So, since we want to calculate the perimeter of the fish pond, do you remember the formula? Do you remember the formula for calculating perimeter? You remember the formula, guys, for calculating perimeter? 
Yes. Perimeter is equal to pi g. Perimeter is equal to pi g. Pi g, pi diameter, or we can use uh, 2 pi r. We can either use pi g or we can use uh, 2 pi r. Okay. So we need to calculate the, uh, the perimeter of this um, of this uh, circle, of this circular uh, fish pond. Okay, we are going to use 3.142 multiplied by the diameter. The diameter of the of the fish pond, the diameter of the fish pond. What is the diameter of the fish pond, guys? What is the diameter of the fish pond? The diameter of the fish pond, anyone? No, we are going to give in the radius. The radius, that's, that's 1.5. The radius, that is uh, 1.5. But here we want the diameter. Okay, do you get it, Vicky? Do you get it? Yes, we, are want, we want the, the diameter. The radius is 1.5, but the diameter is 3 meters. Okay, so we are saying 3.142 multiplied by 3. This will give us what, guys? This is equal to 9.426 meters. Okay, as you can see, guys, the answer to this question is meters. Because this value does not have units. The only value that has units is this one. So if this one is the only one that has units, so the only part that is going to be affected is the number part, not the units, but the units will stay the same. So the value we are going to get is 9.426 meters. So 9.426 meters, this is the circumference of the circle. This is the circumference of the circle point. This is the circumference of the circle point. Okay, so what do we know? What do we know? Okay, so we are not told that uh, how much, uh, how, how are they going to sell us the fence? We are not told how much, uh, how they are going to sell us the fence. Uh, like in the previous instance, we were told that uh, the fence only comes in, uh, in two meters, stuff like that. So in this situation, we are not given that. So we can just use the actual value we got. We need not to round this off to say uh, this is 10 uh, meters. We just need to use this. Okay, so let's use this, guys. So I'm just going to write here uh, the values, uh, the quotations. So labor, so this is labor. Okay, and you are told uh, 29.99 right pay, uh, the fence. Okay, so these are the values that we have. So he says, calculate the total cost for each tire of corn. Let's do that, guys. Let's calculate the total cost. Teacher, you've got 15 minutes. Okay, thank you. Okay, did you say that? Did you say, what we are saying is diameter. When we are talking of a diameter, okay, this is the situation we have. We have a circle. Sorry, guys, I have to pull you back. I have to explain to you the other guys. Uh, they seem to be having trouble how we go to three meters. Okay, so looking at this circle, this is the center, guys. This is the center C, right? This is the center. So from here to the circumference, this is called the radius of a circle, right? And from here today, again, it is called a radius. Okay, so two radius or two radius will give us a diameter. So we are saying uh, R plus R is equal to G. So this is called the diameter of the circle. Okay, can't you hear me, guys? We are saying the radius of a circle, 
this is the distance from here touching the circumference. From here to here, this is called the radius. This is called the radius. From here up to here, this is called the radius. And from here up to here, again, it's a radius. But when you combine the two radius, when you combine the two radius, you get the diameter. The diameter is the longest that cuts through this longest straight line that goes through from here up to here. This is the this is the radius. So since from the question we are given that uh, radius is equal to 1.5 meters, as to get the diameter, we are going to say two times one point five meters. So this is where I go to three meters. Okay, so for those who can't hear me clearly, guys, you just have to follow what I'm going to be doing here. Okay, so I, do, I hope you understood what I was scribbling here. So we're saying uh, two radius will give us a diameter. Okay, so let's move on if you got that. Okay, uh, the question is, calculate the total cost of each style of phone. Calculate the total cost of each style of phone. So, what do we have now? We have uh, the value for the cost. And we have figured out that the circumference of the circular point is actually equal to 9.426, isn't it? Okay, so let's uh, go down to the calculations. Let's move on to the calculations. Calculations that we have, we need to take use of, make use of this value we have here. Okay, we need to calculate that we're given one meter. This is simple proportion, we are back to simple proportion, guys. One meter of face, we are told it costs 29.9 bucks. What do we need to figure out? We need to figure out 9.43 meters, which is equal to what? Which is equal to what? Which is equal to more, right? Which is equal to more. So if it is more, if it is more, we have back to our rules. That says, if it is more, we have a bigger number, 9.43 meters over one meter, multiplied by the cost of a single meter. The cost of a single meter, we told you, was going for 29.99 uh, watts. Yes, we multiply, we times. Okay, so we're saying 9.43 multiplied by 29. 0.99, which will give us what, guys? What do you got? What do you have? Meters and meters will cancel out. Yes, we will have 282.8. Let's just say 0.8. 1 run. So, this is what he is going to pay for the things. How much is he going to pay for the labor? We have that value. How much is he going to pay for the labor? Okay, we got to do that uh, value that he's going to pay for the labor. Okay, so he's going to pay 549.99 by for the labor. 549.99 by. So this is what he's going to pay. This is what he's going to pay for the face. And this is what he's going to pay for the labor. Okay. Let's move on to now. We want to, so you add these two values. If you add these two values, you get to the amount he has to pay for the circular point. Okay. Let's move on to the second question. For the second question. The second question the second type of font. The second type of font, we need to figure out this part and 
in circumference of these two parts. That is what we need to figure out. Okay, so we told that um, this was one meter. Do you still remember? This was one meter and this was two meters. Okay, this was one meter and that was two meters. And we managed to calculate the circumference. Did you manage to calculate the circumference of the circle? Okay, so this one is a different circle. So we cannot use uh, that one, guys. We cannot use the uh, other equation. So we have to make use of this part. Okay, so I need to calculate this part first, this part here, the circumference, because we just want to, to calculate this part, then we will figure out that uh, on our own. Okay, so this is a different, uh, so we have this part, we told it is one meter. Okay, so what do I do? I need to calculate the circumference of this semicircle. Formula for calculating circumference, let's say C is equal to pi diameter. C is equal to pi diameter. Okay, how do I do? I have pi, do I still remember the formula for pi? 3.142, that is my pi, and my G is what? One meter. So my circumference is going to be 3.142 meter. But this guy, this value we are having here, this value we are having here, it's not the circumference of the semicircle. It's actually the circumference of a circle. So what do I do? What do I do to this value? I have to divide by two because it is half circle. I want half circumference. So what do I get? I say 3.142 divided by two. What do I get? I get the five minutes to go. Okay, thank you. I have 1.571 meters. So this is the value for the second part here. Okay, now I need to figure out the perimeter of this value here. I'm just going to say plus two meters, plus two meters, plus one meter. What do I get here? Five, six, seven. I have six point five seven. So this is the circumference of the, yes, I say uh, 2 plus 2, that's 4 plus 1, that's 5, so I have 5, 5 plus 1.3, that is the value I would have. So the value I have is 6.571 meter. So let's get back to the equation, and uh, so we have this value, then I want to multiply already this time, guys, for the sake of uh, time, I'm not going to use simple proportion. I'm just going to say 6.57 meters multiplied by the cost of a single meter. What do I have, guys? When I say that, I'm just going to say uh, 6. I have 6.571 meters multiplied by the cost of a single meter. We are told that a single meter cost um, 29.99 rand. So I'm saying six points. What do you have, guys? Six point five seven one multiplied by 29.99. What do you have? What do you have? Okay, so this is the value, yes. This is the value that I have. This is the value I have, 197.061. So the question is, what is the question? Are we looking for the cheapest? Are we looking for the cheapest? Calculate the total cost for each cell phone. So if you are looking for the cheapest, you could say, uh, which one do you think he is going to choose? Which one do you think Mr. Lamini is supposed to choose? 
the first style, the settler one, or this new style that he has decided to make? Which one do you think he is to choose between these two? Yes, if you choose the cheapest, you, you will have to go for for this one, right? Yes, because the other one we, we calculated and found out that uh, he had to pay a lot of money. He had to pay a lot of money for, for the new chart because uh, looking at the circumference, you, you just compare. If you had to compare the circumference for the two, looking at that one, we, we got to a big number. If you had to compare with that one, you get to see that it, it is cheaper for him to use this. Okay, uh, this is what I have for you today. Um, so I have these questions. I want you to go and look at question number four. Question number four here. Question number four. Go and look at question number four, guys. Question number four and five. Question number four and five. Question number four and five here. Just take a screenshot of the of your screen if you are able to do that you practice that over the weekend if you find that you have nothing to do practice over the question okay guys thank you have a great weekend enjoy yourself uh okay bye